Right, so we're going to remove the caliper first. We're going to remove that little um, sprung piece of metal, and we've actually got new ones of those. So the next thing we're going to do then is clamp off the um, brake pipe. Of course, the brakes will still need the uh, air bleeding out of them. It just stops all the fluid leaking out and making a mess and uh, being a waste as well. Then we'll be removing the sliding bolt so we can get the uh, caliper off. And then hopefully we'll bring the uh, camera around with a little back view of uh, how things are looking around there as well. So that's the brake pipe clamped off. Right, so what we've done, as you can see where the brake pipe goes into the caliper, we've just slackened that off before we remove the caliper because uh, it's fixed in place to uh, make it easier if that's a bit tight. And we've also took off the little um, sort of blanking plates off of the back of the rubbers where the sliding bolts go. Right, so now we're uh, removing the sliding pins. It's a little Allen key uh, slot in there. Once we've removed them two, top and uh, bottom, then uh, we should be able to remove the caliper away. See what's good job I've got these long reach things. That's how I struggle with first time I did this, I didn't have this. Right, so what we're um, going to do is just slightly le loosen the bleed nipple, um, remembering that we've got the um, actual um, brake pipe clamped. Um, what that's going to do is just release the pressure in the actual caliper and that will hopefully make it easier to get the caliper off because of the grooves on the disc, um, those pads are going to sort of get stuck on them so by releasing some of the um, pressure in the caliper uh, that should help us to get it off but that is as we said a big great type uh, clamped obviously it wouldn't really work as, as well and you'd probably lose all your fluid as well What we're doing there is just trying to lever the um, pads back a little bit, pushing the piston in so that we can, as we said, get it over that um, yeah. groove that's all that lip that's in the um, brake disc. Yeah, so we we're just saying there that you should be careful where you lever because it'd be very easy to um, distort the disc or damage the disc or the pad. It doesn't matter so much for us because we're changing the pads uh, and the disc, although we still try and be careful to avoid uh, any damage. And that's the uh, caliper away. And they are quite big caliper as well. So what we're doing now is now winding out the um, brake pipes. You've got to turn the whole uh, caliper to do that. And that's the uh, caliper away. Right, so we've now removed the um, shoes, of course, one in the um, caliper. And if I just show you there, it's got like that um, special clip in it that clips in the caliper, and the other one was uh, up left on the carrier. We've moved that way. The only difference between this side and the other side is the little wire that um, goes to one of those shoes and basically tells you if they've got really, really low. And when we come to refitting it, uh, I might show you that. Um, but that's the only difference between that is unplugging that. Right, so now we're going to remove the um, bolts holding the carrier on, as you can see, they're uh, just in there. Right, so it's now just a case of winding those two bolts out to remove the caliper, so we're going to get on with that. Right, put the bolt out. Right, and that's the uh, caliper away, and the uh, disc is more or less just balanced in there, that's why I was holding it so it didn't um, fall away. And that's now revealed uh, the hub and, uh, of course, the back plate.